AI news have been insane lately. We have two of the most major releases. The first one is that GPT-4 has come out to the public, which by the way, easily beats better humans in all the exams and is way more creative than us. But on top of that, GPT-4 will be able to understand images. So that's a cool part. And then we have Mid Journey V5, which is way more realistic and it's apparently even better than I am at drawing Mona Lisa. With all that in mind, I'm gonna give you the top five business ideas that I have come across exploring the internet. However, the business ideas that I'll be giving out are actually upcoming ones. So once GPT-4 releases image recognition, you have to be the first one to take action because timing is everything. Knowledge. Okay, and the first one, and this is an upcoming one, an AI reaction YouTube channel. This one is very different from those like typical YouTube channels that would require you just like post stock images, which is not good anymore. It's actually more about GPT reacting to content. So for example, you probably heard of Penguin Z, which is like a popular just reaction YouTube channel where he just takes content and he reacts to it or PewDiePie if you've heard of him. So those channels, most of their time, they just react to whatever happens on the internet. So a good idea for this type of channel would be like, GPT reacting to memes, like explaining the memes, and you can put even text to speech. So that's something they did in their research paper where they put a Reddit post and it was like, what's funny about this image? And then the image shows a package for lightning cable adapter. But if I hear Google translate voice over it, that'll be pretty funny. And to take it a step further, you could even put like Minecraft footage on top of those memes while GPT is explaining and it just looks so natural, like it's so common and those are huge channels that are doing it. Like this us, the Reddit is 65k. This, the Reddit nerd is 300k subscribers. And yeah, you get the point. And then you would just look into those channels that tell you how to make 30 shorts in 24 hours using AI. The second one on my list is AI homework. And as the name suggests, it is a pretty simple one. And the way it would work, so you can prepare well for it, is you can register on a homework specific platform. And there are many like Edubirdy, which lets you pretty much become a content writer and you get some great perks, flexible hours, just like Fiverr, but it's more oriented towards like writing the content itself. And as you can see, they have amazing traffic, like 1.2 million, a lot of people are coming to this place. And once this image recognition thing comes out, you can actually like paste huge like research papers into GPT. And I actually found this website called Paper Coach and they have a calculator so you can actually see. So for example, if I choose high school type of paper, let's choose something easy like, like essay line. I've put the lowest because that is actually possible. We will probably waste like 15 minutes on it. Quantity, it's likely it's four, four or five pages. Yeah, like a minimum 1.5k words. That's, that's good. So it turns out a total of $115. So that assuming that GPT gives us an answer, we check it. And if we like calculate it properly, let's say we do it everything in like 20 minutes, 115 minus 30% of your revenue. That makes it 80.5 and times it by three, $240 an hour if you get a good order. So much better than anything. The next one on the list is ebook writing. This one came to my mind when I was reading an article about a girl called Amanda Hawking. She made millions by selling 99 cent books. And here's how she actually did it. So in short summary, she listed the first book in her series for just 99 cents. She actually had a loss from it. She then increased the cover price to almost $3. And by buying those $1 books, people were confident to give her even more because they saw that those books are actually kind of cool. So the way it would work, you would ask GPT to make a table of contents for the book about like a raven or something, whatever happens in your brain. And with GPT-4, you get like a more concise, punchy answer, like under meta and neighborly spiral. And then you would simply ask Midjourney to imagine a book cover, and then you would get something like this. And if you want a step-by-step -step guide, I actually found this YouTube channel and this guy talks about how to create an ebook and he goes into like super details. You can basically take his advice and innovate from there. And the next one is AI copywriting. Copywriting has been a thing for a while, like with companies charging like 225k to write like a sales letter. But since GPT-4 is way more creative and way more like summarized than GPT-3, the previous version. However, something to be aware of is the fact that someone can check if the text was made by GPT. You paste it into something like AI content detector. It says 50% likely this comes from GPT-4, GPT-3 or ChatGPT. 
So to actually bypass this, you would have to go into a paraphrasal tool. Here you just copy paste the text, rephrase, and you would paste it back and check. And make sure that you can get as minimum as possible in terms of percentage because 27% likely that is already really good. And overall, like if you would go into Fiverr, build a profile, you can charge up to $500 just to write something like website content. Last one on my list, and this is kind of a bonus one, is AI educational cartoons. However, I do not recommend touching just normal AI cartoons because th there are huge channels that are already doing that and already doing it better. But I actually mean those channels that provide value. And when we talk about cartoons, it's likely that you'll be doing cartoons for children. And here are some examples of competition. Like you have those channels like Baby Bus, they have 32 million subscribers, or something like Oddbots, which have 10 million. And if you were to estimate the revenue, like overall, if we take an average out of all, it looks like they have 150k views per video. So if you go into estimated YouTube money calculator, you would put in the daily views to 150k, leave out the rest. You can see that estimated monthly, yearly earnings, those are pretty good. You can freely assume that it's on the higher side just because they keep posting often and their videos are quite long like 36 minutes so the way for you to come into this niche with more value is to actually make those educational ones and it could be like you would make a cartoon that teaches spanish and the first step for you would be to ask gpt to make an english cartoon with some words in spanish and then it gives the adventures of lucy and pablo episode about the treasure hunt and once you have the transcript you would go into an AI cartoon maker and currently there aren't advanced ones but there are already things you can start doing to build a channel Artflow AI where they let you create like actual fictional characters and you can create a video with like 10 clips or you could even go into Runway Gen 2 which just recently came out and it's basically a text to video generator and you can pretty much do anything in here and to take it a step further, you could even make like a transcript for a song with ChatGPT to teach children Spanish. You would upload it to something like Melobytes, choose the lyrics and generate a song. All right, that brings us to the end of the video. Now that we have Runway Gen 2, which lets you generate cartoons. And now that we have GPT-4, which allows you to actually do homework. Basically, you're taking AI side hustling a step further. And by knowing those business models, you are pretty much the first one to actually try them out. And once we'll be getting like more releases, more upcoming like news that something's coming up, I'll definitely release a part two for even more upcoming side hustles. Let me know what you think down in the comments and let me know which ones you actually liked and what can we even expect in the future for the next ones.